Just before coming back on, you saw the, the promo of the Delaware Academy of Public Safety and Security, which is a charter high school that, uh, that I helped to found, and we started up this year in last September with our ninth grade class, and for the next coming year, for next September, we're looking for additional kids for 10th grade, and, uh, but, but primarily for ninth grade students, so those kids who are in eighth grade this year who are going to be in ninth grade come next, uh, next August, September. And a little bit about the school, it, is a, it focuses uh, on the first responder community. So we're college preparatory, focused on making sure our kids are prepared to go to whatever college they choose to go to, but uh, with a focus on the Homeland Security first responder community. So firefighters, police officers, paramedics, uh, nursing, operating engineers. Some of the special components of our program, some of the things that we've done with just our ninth graders this year. 98% uh, of our ninth graders, so almost, almost 120 kids out of 120 kids, uh, are CPR certified in our school, and over 50 of them to the health professional level, which is what doctors and nurses are capable of doing with CPR. So uh, 50 out of 120, so almost half the, 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 the class, half the ninth grade class, is uh, CPR certified to the same level that your doctor is CPR certified. And almost all of the kids have their CPR certification, 98% of them. So that's just one of the things we've done already this year. Uh, we, uh, we functioned as a, they had an emergency preparedness training uh, exercise at St. Francis Hospital. And uh, so 90 of our kids, 90 students, showed up at the emergency room of St. Francis about a month ago all of them with a little card saying what was wrong with them. So, some of, so it was basically, what if we had a mass outbreak of an illness? Or what if we had a terrorist attack? And so there was inhalation uh, of chemicals and car accidents and explosions. So these 90 kids just showed up and the hospital had to deal with it and make sure that their emergency preparedness plan worked. And that was something that, that our school was involved with. Uh, we've had over 30 groups from the first responder community, police, firefighters, EMTs, nurses, and, and others, uh, specialists in forensics, specialists in, in, in biologicals, specialists in chemicals, come and, and, and give presentations to our kids about uh, what their professions entail and what they do in their line of work so that our kids get an understanding of what are the, uh, what are the career opportunities within the first responder community, which is an extremely broad uh, and complicated uh, area. We all see the TV shows, uh, crime scene investigations, and NCIS, and NCIS LA, and all that kind of stuff. And it's all very fancy, but I tell you, the, the technology that's involved, the knowledge that's involved, the capabilities of those individuals, uh, this, is not, this is not your grandfather's police force, this is not your grandfather's fire, uh, fire department. Uh, this is not your grandmother's uh, uh, paramedic uh, EMT unit. These are, these are professionals with, that are highly educated. And, and our program, the first in the nation, the first in the nation, uh, is on the leading edge of this. And if you want your son or daughter, your grandson, granddaughter, uh, niece, nephew, uh, whatever, to, uh, to have a first-rate education, in, uh, that has a, a, an add-on of knowledge of careers and career options that don't get outsourced, that are good paying. Many of them are in the private sector. Most of them uh, carry pensions with them. Uh, I would highly recommend that you take a look at uh, the Delaware Academy of Public Safety and Security, um, which uh, I've been working on now for, for almost five years, and this is our first year. So we'll have one last promo as we finish the show in a few minutes. But uh, just wanted, again, give a plug, uh, call, the, call the school. Um, we're not open tomorrow, Martin Luther King Day, but we are open on Tuesday, 731-2777, 731-2777. You can also go to the website, DelawareAcademyCharter.org, DelawareAcademyCharter.org, and there's an email uh, form there, and as well as other contact information, as well as information about the school, the staff, what their backgrounds are, and, and that kind of thing. So. Uh, so I hope you, uh, you avail yourself of that and take a look at it because it all comes down to, to being educated. And if you have an education and if it's a flexible and, and broad-based education with some career options built into it, no matter where you live, 
you can go find the opportunity. If Wilmington, Delaware doesn't offer economic opportunity, leave and go to where that economic opportunity is. I say that to my own children. My family has been in the state of Delaware for uh, 200 plus years. But I tell my children, the reason my family came to this state was economic opportunity. Where they lived, there was no economic opportunity, so they went to where it was, and you need to do the same thing. If Delaware does not have economic opportunity, leave and go to it. But you have to be prepared, you have to be educated, and that's what we're trying to do.